Okay, I admit the ocean is pretty scary. But the scarier thing is, is the fact that you're not subscribed. Unless you are subscribed. Then there's just the ocean. I, I can actually go find it. I'll go find it, okay? I'll go in my watch history. Um, It is terrifying. Because it it went like, um, it, it showed up and it was there. And then it, um, sorry. And then it, when it swam away, oh my god. Actually, one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen. Let me see if I can, here it is, here it is. Giant squid spotted in U.S. waters. And this has been recorded worldwide. So Edie was the no, first that's not what I wanted. Footage of a live John Squidness. Shut up, I don't care. Shut up. This, this is what I want. We've only seen it live in the wild twice. So we don't really know much about their behavior or their habitats or how they eat. Vampire squid, living fossil of the abyss. With its deep red color icy blue eyes, and webbed tentacles that resemble a cape, the vampire squid appears quite frightening. Illuminated by its bioluminescent glow against the inky darkness of the deep Ooh. sea, it's easy to see how this creature gained the scientific name Vampirotuthis infernalis. You're just, you're just trying to make it sound scary now. You Vampirotuthis infernalis. Which resides. 3,000 feet below the surface, <laughs> black <laughs> would not be effective. When feeding, it rarely actively swims, but prefers to drift on ocean currents. By uh, using this efficient feel, method, I feel like that's very common very in deep sea things. Energy, which it saves up for times when it faces danger. In such instances, it can move swiftly, using powerful jet propulsion while flapping its enlarged fins. Another unique behavior that has been observed in these creatures is known as the pineapple posture. Uh. This occurs when the squid draws its webbed tentacles up Ew. over the body to reveal sharp looking spines ah! in an attempt to warn predators not to come too close. Uh, uh, I don't like when you do, uh, turn inside out. <laughs> the vampire squid is in fact. Let's watch this one. The deep sea is a hidden world of wonder. Oh, yeah? As we have explored so far in this series, it is home to countless ecosystems of abundant biodiversity, though veiled beneath the inky waters of the deep. Let's take a closer look Ooh. at what's been found lurking. My favorite animal is actually jellyfish, by the way. I love jellyfish. I want one of those cylindrical tanks. At the poles. Tell me this wouldn't be so pog. Uh, one of the cylindrical aquariums where you, where you can like keep jellyfish inside in the barack in the background of streams background jellies whoa you can't tell me that's amazing that's not amazing you can't can be incredibly difficult long no. cold winters you bring bitter dead jellyfish. winds that whip across the landscape What's that, man Temperatures plummet deep into the negatives as the winter night falls, bringing darkness that can last for months. Ooh. Sea ice reaches far beyond the shores of any frozen land. Fire. A constant though seasonal feature of polar marine ecosystems, the importance of which cannot be understated. Sea ice maintains the low temperatures of polar regions and helps to moderate the global climate. Its bright surface reflects the sunlight that strikes it back into space. Ooh, I never Without thought about that. Without this vast expanse of white, the dark ocean would absorb this light and heat up, throwing ecosystems around the world into chaos. Penguins sea ice is important also for many of the Look at those little guys. of polar regions. 
I forgot to have jammies again. Pepe j j dancing in his jammas. The underside of sea ice is not as smooth as the surface. <laughs> Here, it is riddled with channels and cavities. I did say water penguin, I did. Surface. Formed when pockets of salty brine trapped between the ice crystals drain away and form channels. This is the perfect habitat for microorganisms. Photosynthesizing algae and bacteria, waiting patiently to bloom in spring in a mighty oceanic feast. Some channels are large enough to provide a refuge looks for crazy. large creatures. Amphipods, krill, and tiny worms clinging to the safety of these ice formations. They utilize them as a sort of upside down seabed. Ooh. In the Southern Ocean, krill feed on the phytoplankton and graze on the sea ice algae. The deep ocean around Antarctica is a unique place. The weight of the ice sheets has pushed down the submerged continental shelf to be deeper than most places. Woo! Usually, the continental shelf is found between 100 and 200 meters down. Scary. But here, we must sink to 600 meters imagine, before the edge imagine. into darkness, and a gaping void opens up. The what void? The void is what? This is a gateway to the deep. Gaping. Not only for researchers, but for marines in other parts of the world. Whoa, Oxygen look at that little man! A plethora of life. This is made possible by the freezing of Antarctic Yay. sea water in winter, which leaves who live here must find creative Whoa, ways to Ooh, go adapt. look at that little man again. The few fish that do Hi, live Kim. here. Must find he looks like a pug. It's a sea pug. Fish that do Whoa. Live here must find creative ways to adapt. One huh. known as the ice dragonfish has antifreeze proteins in its blood to stop it from freezing into ice. Huh. The diversity we see today. That's crazy. That, whoa! That region, jellyfish got the RGB the on. On the sea floor. Yo. The deep sea found beneath the poles is a world of hidden wonders. Organisms unlike any of the pelagic creatures of the mesopelagic and bathypelagic zones must become opportunistic. The bathtub the zone, is that what you said? This. This is deep sea floor. I wanted secret garden. In doing so, we have uncovered diverse and abundant coral reefs that we did not know existed until recently. Whoa! Their scale is They're immense, literally so pretty, it's crazy. And corals lining the Such insanely vibrant colors. At 6,000 meters or 20,000 feet deep. Some rivaling the Grand Canyon in their See? enormity. But how do these corals survive down here in the cold, dark abyss? The last place you might expect to find corals is in the deep sea. But down in the darkness, there are lush gardens Look, thriving in the ice. That's ocean. insane. It's so pretty, it's dude. One of the most poorly understood what are you doing? all deep sea ecosystems. Wow! Was that a the most tiny little man? All deep sea Look at the little man! because they are well established communities it is estimated that one particular I'm not gold you coral colony a box. found near hawaii is over 2700 years old Ooh. another black coral colony is thought Whoa. to be 4200 years old i haven't old. seen black coral Making i haven't seen like really bright ones oldest marine organisms ever probably spitting right now due to the ability of polyps to continuously regenerate some deep reefs have been thriving and expanding for over 40,000 years. Okay, secret life of brine pools. On the ocean floor, there is a secret world that seems as if it defies the laws of physics. Here, water that can be up to five times saltier than the surrounding ocean seeps out of the sea floor and flows into basins to form brine pools Ooh, that's it looks like it's These a it looks like it's above water look it looks like it's above water 
It, doesn't this look insane? Deep sea lakes represent what appears to be, at first look, a dead zone of life, where any creatures to delve beneath the surface never return. Is he dead as hell? Both themselves and the mussels. Hmm. By living within the gills of the shellfish, they are protected from the many predators that stalk the dark no, sea. No, don't live in the gills, that's gross. Some who visit are not as lucky as others. Eee. Yuck. Yuck. Brine pools certainly have earned their titles of pits of despair and hot tubs of death. There is a fine border between where life is able to thrive and where life seems altogether absent. This is because the brine itself is toxic to most sea creatures. For these deep lakes contain almost no oxygen and are far too saline for animals to survive in. Mm. When an organism enters a brine pool, they attempt to breathe the environment, subsequently experiencing toxic shock due to the hypersalinity. Uh, I don't like thinking Often, about what that. Often, any unfortunate like. animals to delve below the surface. That is pickled, so scary. As shown by how creatures have been recovered from the pools with soft tissue intact, despite having been dead for decades. However, as we continue to see in many extreme deep sea ecosystems, life has found a way to survive even within these toxic, salty lakes. Smaller organisms have evolved the ability to convert the methane into energy, supporting a community of bacteria, shrimp, and even tube worms. However, that's about as long as the list gets. Tube the concentrated worms. brine remains a deadly place for most creatures. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Uh, uh, the one I like is when the in-screen pops up, whatever.